Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's take another look at the direction of a torque. In this case, we're going to look at the vector quantities, realizing that the torque is a vector. We can write the torque as being the product of the position vector and the force itself. And notice that it's a cross product. The position vector is the vector from the pivot point, from the point of rotation, to where the force is acting. And then the direction of the force, of course, is the direction in which the force is pointing. If we want to find the magnitude of the torque in this case, we simply multiply the magnitude of the position vector times the magnitude of the force times the sine of the angle between the direction of the force and the direction of the position vector. If you want to find the result of that product, we can say that the torque then is equal to the matrix here. That would be the x component of the unit vector times what's remaining r sub y times f sub z minus r sub z times f sub y minus the y unit vector times r sub x times f sub z, r sub z minus r sub z times f sub x, plus the z unit vector times r sub x times f sub y minus r sub y times f sub x. And that's how you would calculate the actual torque in vector components. Another way to look at the direction of a torque is to use the right hand rule. Take your fingers point them in the direction of the position vector, then turn your fingers in the direction of the force. That means I have to turn my hand around, there's the direction of the position vector, then I curl my fingers in the direction of the force, and my thumb will point in the direction of the torque. Notice that means from a vector quantity, the torque is pointing into the board, and I can do that by simply drawing a cross like there. There that indicates that at the point of rotation, the torque is into the board that causes it to be a negative torque. In this case, notice that the force is acting in this direction. Again, take your right hand, point your fingers in the direction of the position vector, turn your fingers in the direction of the force. Your thumb now points outward, that's out of the board or out of the paper. We can draw it like this. At the pivot point or the point of rotation, we draw a dot with a circle, meaning that the torque is out of the board. That's called a counterclockwise torque or a positive torque. Positive means out of the board or out of the paper. Negative means into the board or into the paper. And that's what we mean by the direction of a torque when we talk about it in terms of vector quantities. And that's how it's done. No, that's the correct angle. Okay, let me start over again. Okay. Ready? Okay. 